Hi class with me again. So in this video, I'm going to show you an example on uh, moving boundary work, which is the process that we have now is the polytropic process. And if we recall back, polytropic process is the process process where your pressure and uh, volume to the power of n. At state 1 is equal to um, pressure and volume at state 2. So this is what it uh, meant by polytropic process. So given to you here is a piston cylinder where it initially contains 0 0.07 meter cube, which is your V1 is equal to 0 0.07 meter cube. And this is actually your nitrogen gas. It is uh, one form of ideal gas. And your initial pressure is said to be 130 kilopascal. And also given to you, the temperature is 120 degrees C. Uh, it is now uh, expanded polytropically to a state of 100 kilopascal. Now that you have your final state or state 2, which is given to you pressure as 100 kilopascal, and the the final temperature is equal to 100 degrees C. So what you need to find now is you need to determine the boundary work done during this process of expansion. So the moving boundary work for the problem of polytropic is actually if you have a look at your note, it is WB is equal to P2V2 minus your P1V1 over 1 minus N, where the index N over here can be obtained from these relations. So as you can see in uh, this sketch over here, uh, for state 1, it's already been given to you P, T and V, while for state 2, you only have P and temperature. In order for you to make use of this equation, you will need your V2 over here. So since this is a, an ideal gas process, so you can make use of your ideal gas equation in order for you to get your V2 so we rearrange your PVMRT so you are going to have V2 is equal to MR your nitrogen T2 over with your P2 now, as you can see here, your mass value is not given, but knowing that, uh, so how are you going to obtain your M over here? We can make use of uh, the information that you have in state 1, where it's given to you that um, M, we rearrange the ideal gas equation again, so you have M, is equal to your P1 V1 over your R nitrogen at temperature 1. So since this is a closed system, basically your mass is constant for the initial and final states. So you plug in all the value in here. Alright, now, your R nitrogen, if it's not given, you can always check from your um, property table, which is your table A2. 
where you have a list of your uh, property that uh, already tabulated for you in there such as uh, as constant R your specific vol uh, heat at constant volume specific heat at constant pressure so your R for nitrogen if I check here so it is around 0 0.29 68 kilojoule per kg dot Kelvin. Alright, so let's solve this one first. So you have 0 0.2968 and then times your temperature. Now, since you have the Kelvin over here. You have this Kelvin unit, so you need to change your temperature 1 into Kelvin as well. So you need to plus with 273 here. So it will become 393. Kelvin, right? So in the end, you will get your mass is zero point zero seven eight zero two kilogram. So after we have got this value of m, so now you can substitute your m into these equations. Right, so let's rearrange this first. Okay, all right, so now that we can find your V2 here, with all the value that we have, we substitute into the equation, so it will give you. V2 is equal to 0 0.07802 times if your gas constant and also your temperature in Kelvin so you are going to have plus 273 it's going to be 373 Kelvin and divided with your pressure which is 100 kilopascal so that will give your volume equal to 0 0.08637 meter cube alright so you can see here that we already have the value for your V2 but there's another value which is your N where N can be obtained from this relation that we have in here so now let's solve for your N. Um, let's have green, right? Um, so you have P1 V1 N is equal to P2 V2 N. And when you substitute all the value in, 130 0 0.07 to the power of N is equal to uh, 100 0 0.08637 to the power of n and when we arrange this thing where you bring your uh, 100 to here and this 0 0.07 here so what we got is what we get is 1 1.3 is equal to 1.234 to the power of n and we solve this with ln 1.3 is equal to ln 1.234 to the power of n so we solve n will be equal to 1.248 Right, so let's 
rearrange this thing and put it up here right so let's solve this one uh, so now you have the work boundary for your polytropic process which is work boundary is equal to 100 times if your volume at final minus with your initial pressure times with the volume of initial 1 minus your index n which is 1.248 and finally you will got you will get your work boundary to be 1.86 kilojoule right so this is one example on your polytropic problem thank you